Am I going for adventuring? I actually do want to pull for him. I'm told that the story is pretty good and he's involved. And that's about all I know. But I like his gambler aesthetic. I also remember how zesty he was with uh, Dr. Ratio. He's gay and I respect that. Alright. Oh, do I talk to him first? Maybe I talk to him. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. His eyes are so mesmerizing. Also, let me know if the story is too quiet or if it's too loud. Um, it would be nice to know if you guys want me to turn something up or down. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. <laughs> Yo, she got off screen. Just like Duke Inferno. Oh, really? Nice. Fucking Duke Inferno. Although, I assume. Okay, so my assumptions are Robin isn't dead. Or somehow. is somehow alive. Um. And so Robin isn't dead. Firefly isn't dead. Um, and that's about it. There's like a little bit I know about Akar. Well, not I don't know. It was never confirmed to me. But my theory is that. Um. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say that she's probably gonna be like really important to the story because I I'd, I'd hope so, but you know you know maybe maybe she isn't. Who knows? How is that possible? Yeah, why is her body there, bro? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. Fair. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? What? I mean, I don't even know what Galaxy Rangers are. I'm not gonna lie. I know, like, Akron says she's one. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any uh -huh. person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Which, I could see, yeah, I mean, yeah, I just assume every, like, I think the whole point of Pentacle is, like, everyone can lie. I mean, this sparkle fucking exists, right? That she makes you question, is anyone actually themselves? I was gonna say though, there was a point in the story where Acheron kind of like kicks you out of the realm. I'm not sure what she did, but she like, I don't, I don't know if she slashes you with her sword or something, but she walks by you after she finished, she finishes talking to you and you get like kicked out of the realm. So this seems accurate to that. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Okay. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Okay. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. 
a girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter, an unsought guest, an emanator who hides her true identity. Clifford's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. It's basically, he's saying that she's an emancipator or Who whatever. Will be the next to die? If that's the case, I can't trust anyone. That's just one side of the story. Ah, bah, bah. I don't know. Um, if that's the case, I can't trust anyone. Not even you! It's fine. Listen to your gut. A means I don't know. I don't know, Sadie. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Yeah, seems like it. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. But I love After her. All, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows, right? No, I love her. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Oh my, hello! Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Yeah, but she's here for me! Probably. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC. You catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. So you, he's saying he's not here for the legacy. He's here for work and he wants to team up with us. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Right. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and... Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. So, I will say, from the last thing I saw, it was like Sunday being all fucking weird or whatever. His name's Sunday, right? Robin's sis- No, I mean, not Robin's sis- <laughs> Not Robin's. Robin's brother. He's being all fucking weird. I don't like him. Um, I think it's like the only one I don't really like. Right now. What kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Uh-huh. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. What do you mean by that? I'm confused. You'll help? Adventuring come home. <laughs> Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. Help him come home. I've been investigating. I mean my luck with guys is pretty good. I feel like I'm only lucky with the guys. For this very moment. 
But I don't know, he's really zesty, so maybe he won't care about me. Let's be honest. I don't want to lose another 50-50. It's hurting my soul. Oh, no. I will pray for you. I, I will do my best to this pray. Maddie is who you probably go to for good luck, honestly. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. Oh, and Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. It's fine, Sadney. Oh, you'll be fine. You get to find out really what happened. He's lucky for justice. most people, I guess. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Is the game loud enough, by the way, for everyone? I hope so. It's good. Okay, thank you so much. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us. The nameless would never associate with an IPC. A decision like this is above my pay grade. <laughs> it's above my pay grade. Worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. Yeah, I at least want to talk to everyone else about it. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value Himiko. of steel. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. So long, friend. Will you give me money? I'm looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. Do you think? Hmm. If Robin's actually dead, do you think Acheron's the one who off-screened her? Because the only other person that's been off-screened is Duke Inferno. And you know who did that? Acheron. And they're saying Acheron, he's a, he's probably, he's insinuating that Acheron can kill people in this realm even without the family's help. Do I know about the 2.2 .2 banner? Uh Do I know about the 2.2 .2 banner? Oh yeah, Robin's there, right? Yeah, I mean, but Ting Young's playable, and she's dead. Well, I don't know, I guess it was never confirmed that she was dead. But that's what he's ins I feel like that's what he's kind of insinuating. They did a whole funeral. Yeah, but someone could be like missing and like still get a funeral. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? Hello, baby girl. <laughs> On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. You <laughs> Riz! I got Riz. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet, but judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool and working with him definitely has its dangers. Can I toss a die and let it decide for me? Leaving it up to fate. It's just how that gambler thinks. She doesn't like that. Oh, Black Swan didn't like that. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. 
In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. You think it's connected to Acheron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. Hi, Kuma. Your name is Kuma Kuma the Bear. Have you read that manga? About that girl, I guess he's sec-eyed, and she can like make, she can make like, she has like really powerful magic, but everything she makes becomes like a bear. It's an anime now? Wait, it's an anime now? Oh shit, I read this bat. I read this, oh my god, <clears throat> I read this a long time ago. Oh my god, it is an anime now. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen this. I, I read this a long, long time ago. Wow. 2023 it became... March? That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Kuma. Yeah, I, like, I read your name. <clears throat> I read your name. And the first thing I thought of was that. Which I assume is where it's from. We're talking about an anime. But without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like a venturing said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. The bear from I have no clue. About that one, Zanny. Keep my distance from her? No. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. I'm pretty sure Firefly is alive. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. A smuggler? And then a family celebrity. Those don't seem connected at all. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. You know, if I can go talk to Himiko, I'm totally happy with that. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. This is where Firefly got pierced. We're on a date, guys. We're on a date. I want this. Sam. Uh. We're on a date. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. What? Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Uh-huh. The root of my ear leaving a cool sensation. If she hands me a card. A small parting gift. 
If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Oh, she gave me like a GPS. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. That's it? <laughs> Does it have her number on it? Asking for a friend. Does it have her number on it? Asking for Acheron. Honestly, I want to say that's it to be bratty. But I'm just going to say thank you. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy range. Oh, do you? No. Let's leave things there, shall we? I'm friend. <laughs> what fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Good luck with Acheron. I have a feeling that you might get back shot again. You still at the hotel in the dreamscape. Ray, Ray. Have you run into trouble? We got separated in the memory zone, but Ray's with the memo keeper. I feel so antsy, help. Oh no, March! March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Not at the moment. Sure, let me know if you need me. The world in the... The hotel in the real world is very calm. Not much is happening. What happened to March? I'm, I'm done. Where should we meet? Ray! Ray, it's great to see that you're safe. The lady didn't do anything bad, did she? Oh, March is so... She's so worried. Even go base. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I had to do something real quick. March is so worried. I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been condorned off by the family. We're in wrapping up negotiations. Meet near the clock, the, the clocky statue. A family rep. Is Himiko okay? We go, we go to save Himiko. I care about nobody else. Is that a chest? <laughs> uh, you know, I may have not explored this town as much as I thought I did. This guy's sad. That's okay. We'll leave it to him. Hello? So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Uh-huh. What did they do to my boy? That blade now. Oh! Nature. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Ah! Oh shit! It's her off screening Duke Inferno? It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive. As are you. Mm hmm. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. 
and then go. Music box. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special. Oh, he follows the destruction eon. Okay. Stranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. Yeah, it's more like semi on screen. That's your father, as well. But it, she's the Hillity. She's not the hunt. We come. But she follows the hunt? I'm confused. Bead in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until Thank you for the follow Kato? Or Kaito? I think it's Kaito. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning. Fresh we meat. Are born to die <laughs> just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. Yeah, fresh meat. That's what I follow. <laughs> are created for the destruction. Not everyone follows the path. Do you want follows the hunt too? Wait, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't remember that, I should say. I guess she's just Nihility, but like, she follows the hunt. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. All of Zinzel, oh. They do? Even Ting Young? You know, maybe I really wasn't paying attention to that story, huh? No, not Ting Young. Oh my god. A whole loop foul follows the hunt. Oh, me who doesn't read lore? I do read it. I just forget. You know how long it's been? All right, you can't expect me to remember things months in between. That's just wrong. Because <laughs> my memory doesn't last very long. Also, I have a feeling, and I said this to Maddie, but she never gave me a response. But I said, I think... What happens when Akron unsheaths her sword is that she remembers things. But she always, because like she always cries when she does it, which makes me feel like she's remembering like painful memories. Well, and that's why she hesitates to like unlock her sword. Bronya follows preservation and she's harmony. Ah. They follow land to hunt the entire point of their fleets to follow land across the stars to hunt the abundance. Oh. No, I didn't I didn't remember that part. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that's my theory about Acheron and why she hesitates to like unsheath her sword. Touch his sword. Instant depression! Yeah, exactly. Don't remember or never read. I did! I did play through the story and read it. So I just don't remember. I, I, I'm I so bad at remembering things. It's actually insane. I do read! Holds the pain? I think it's just she just remembers. I don't think it's... The pain of like I don't think people haunt her. I think she just remembers things that are painful. But my flames are feet. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the, the distance? planet of festivities? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. That. So was Duke Inferno going to come to Penacony? So Duke Inferno was going to come to Penacony. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. 
Did he say burger to Penacony? No, he said... Wait, I didn't say that. He didn't even say Penacony. I said Penacony. You said- they said it in his trailer? They did? He has a tra- oh yeah, he does have a trailer. Man's man a man senator a man can you say that again, Duke Inferno? Emanator. Emanator. I will I can't pronounce things either. <sighs> hey, you typing it in the chat, Sadney, doesn't help me pronounce it. You cannot hide your true identity. Doesn't help! Draw that sword. For we shall indeed. I got you. Death, for I There's no C. I. This. I can't read. So this is why she fights him. He he chose to fight her and then died. Destruction is intense. But emanator, 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 emanator. Thank you, emanator. I got it. <laughs> emanator. It helped. Emanator. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. I like how she's so confident in herself, like, yeah, like if we fight, you're gonna die. <laughs> what is important is not the answer, but that it exists. Just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right, I accept. You shall witness. She's so the like. Most brilliant and intense fire in existence. Pretty sure Akron could fight all of them at once. The farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Gonna go play Cookie Run. What the hell? A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. Mm hmm. This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but. Perhaps out of reciprocity. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not <gasps> the path I truly follow. So she doesn't follow the hunt. She follows something else. What is she? The end or whatever? Of course she doesn't. What do you mean? Of course she doesn't. All right. May death be the end of your boundaries. What does she fall? She follows finality, right? That's like what I've been seeing from the uh, piano Guiding stuff. You back to the waking world. <sighs> Hello, ma'am. I still see them in my dreams. <sighs> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Your time hasn't come yet. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? I've seen that from the last cutscene. Sam doesn't scan the trailblazer. Sam scans Acheron and the Memo Keeper and then like dives in but doesn't really look like he's trying to fight. It just kind of looked like he was trying to grab the Trailblazer. Rose actually a homie? <sighs> Did Destiny's slave make you do it? Slave? Who? You know. 
Oh, Elio. Elio. Or Elio. I was like, what do you mean by that? Like, Elio, okay. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. True. Oh, Elio. Yeah. My script has always been brief. Brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. Forgot about Elio. Me too, man. Forgot that dude existed. Confirm she doesn't read the lore. I do read it. I forgot he existed. When's the last time he's been talked about? Since like the Kafka error. Error? Era. Alright. He knows my nature. Your nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. The plague author? I, I don't know what that is. The Stellaron? As a destruction? Is the the this the, the the destruction Eon made the Stellaron, the, the like, cancer of the worlds, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, no, <laughs> Genesis is right. I, I have the brain of a nerve, but the memory of a goldfish is really bad. I'm like, Acheron levels of, I don't remember. If I, honestly, I wish I had a, like, like, I don't know. The Nook? Who the fuck is the Nook? You talking about Tom Nook from, like, Animal Crossing? Wait, now I gotta look this up. Honkai Star Rail Nanook. Yeah, this is a destruction, dude! I was right. I was right! Okay, at least that part I was right about. God knows I've been wrong about everything else. Oh god, Ray. No. Good night, Tilo. Yanking. There's gonna be a day when I. No, there's not gonna be a day when I say that. I will always remember who Maddie is. Unless I get like, Al like Alzheimer's or something. I don't know. But. I will always remember who Maddie is. I will never say who is Maddie. Never. So, Sam's saying his nature is that there's a single destiny that no one can escape from. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, saying. you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time <laughs> for me emo. to inquire. Who exactly are you? Uh, I don't... I, that is that an Eon too? That is an Eon, but I don't know which one. I don't remember which one, but I know it's an Eon. Preservation. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know that shit. <laughs> not your enemy, perhaps. So Acheron's not gonna fight Sam. Do I know Ewan Yang Yang King Yang Queen Yang Yang? How do you pronounce his name again? Yang King. No, I don't know him. I don't want to know him. I'm tired of this man. Yang Ching. Yeah. I'm tired of that dude. Bro, I should go back to training instead of like being in my fucking Akron poles. The homies say Yang King. Yeah, I say Yang King. That's not what I asked. Ugh. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Fair. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. She's wanted by the IPC? Oh. Maybe I can help. Guess it makes sense why Venturing doesn't like her. What reason would you have for doing that? They gave her the care package cane. She did tax fraud. Uh Wait. Is that what he meant by he's here to like collect the debt? Is it from her? <laughs> How are you doing, Kate? No. Okay. Let me have my fun. Let me let me theorize. I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally Me too! So 
No, that's actually a bar. I do the same fucking shit. I, I don't remember things, so I just try to remember how I felt about things. I am thou. Thou art me. <laughs> Which persona is it? Is it three? Four or five? I need to play three. I played four. No, no, sorry. I played five a little bit, but then I stopped. Um, but I've always heard three is good, and I really wanted to play it. And I think I have three in my Steam library. I am thou, thou art I. Yeah, I used to watch my friend in like middle school play that shit. I know who is inside that cold armor. Thou has unlocked a new bond. True, the voices. How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? Sit down for a talk. It's not yet time. I don't need help. Okay. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Uh huh. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy. Then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Okay, so... Death is... When I say death, they're not talking about Acheron. They're talking about the mem the thing that tried to kill Firefly or whatever. Burying the past and the truth. Okay. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. The astral spes is no enemy of yours. Sam, trust us. What's next then? The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? And Acheron thinks the same. It's funny. Nobody wants us on their bad side. Like, nobody. Like, there are people who are against each other, like Acheron and Aventurine. And then there are people who are just for themselves, like Sparkle. But it feels like everyone just likes the Astral Express. Like, everyone just wants the Astral Express to be, like, on their side. Like, Acheron wants Sam. But, well, or the Stellaron Hunters. Because I guess Sam is part of the Stellaron Hunters, from what I'm understanding. Because they know Elio. Um, fucking... Who else is there? Black Swan. Even though she technically lied to us, I don't think she like has like super bad intentions. Adventuring. Everyone. Have you met us? We're awesome. Apparently, we're like the best. No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. You only have one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. Hmm. So this is all according to plan. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. 
What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Uh-huh. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. It's kind of rough. For a little light. No? And to burn. To keep on burning. Until I turn to ash. Bro has insomnia. <laughs> Born without the ability to dream. It just feels like Sam is like giving up on life. So they just like do whatever. Until they're... Until they die. So... I really envy you. Is that so? Sam was child from Genshin Impact. I've never played Genshin Impact, the story. I played Genshin Impact, but I never did I never did the story. Like I did not do the story. So I have no clue what they're like. I quit like a month in. Then you're already living in the waking world. I also love Akron's voice actor, by the way. Her English, her English voice actor. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she voices so many good. Pe she voices so many good people. She actually voices we someone in Persona Three, the redhead, that I like a lot. On, but we never expected Miss Robin. Allegra, yeah. Clark. Kazumi, she voices. Riz. A Riz, uh, Rise, Re. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Rise. Oh, no, not Rise. No, it's someone. No, it's the redhead. It's the redhead. Redhead. Her. Her. She voices her. We say Persona 5. Oh, I meant 3. My bad. I meant 3. I meant 3. She voices her in the English. And then she forces... Who's that? Sad, sad, sad me. She also voices Dorothea and... Uh... Shamir from Fire Emblem. Three houses. She voices a lot of people. She's very talented. You don't play Persona. Uh... I just know a little bit about it. I never really actually- I like played a little bit of 5 like I said before, but I never like got super super into it, but it's- I've always wanted to, but it's just a long game. Wait, she does? No way. Wait, she does? No way. No, no, she does. Oh, I think she voiced her. I think she was suggested. Yeah, it says she was suggested to play Urza from Fairy Tale, but it didn't actually end up going through. She would have done a really good job, though. Honestly. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I couldn't be with you then. Kimiko is such a mom. She's like, I wish I could have been there to like support you. Reality cruises on in serenity. Hey, thank you for the Our follow. Hope you enjoy your stay. Dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Right. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? You know, watch more Honkai streamers? Well, if you're not interested in doing story or like watching story, 
Maddie's actually streaming right now, and she exclusively streams Honkai, uh, Honkai Starro. If you want to watch her. You know why? Ew. Sad, you should've. Alright, let me support. Let me support her. So what did the family rep say to us? Uh, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's Thank you, how it was put in reference to Miss Firefly. So this was referencing Firefly, but also Robin, technically. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. Mm -hmm. The family is planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Panacone is going to turn into a bloodbath. Yeah, Robin's pretty well known. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The what if it's Sparkle? To try and turn things to their advantage. I don't think she'd do that though. from outside. I feel like she'd the kill Germany people, but I think she wouldn't do it so secretly. Here. They must be snowed under. Yeah, I guess we weren't supposed to know about that until Aventurine told us about it. How does he know about it? Hmm. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the she scene had three to witnesses. control the situation. After all, and it, I don't even think she, I don't even think she died. Murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Aventurine's on guard against Indeed. Acheron. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Yes, well. Are we missing yes, the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. And now we have a murder mystery. Time to bring up the clue board. Let's play clue. But oh, it's Honkai Star Rail. All right, where do you guys want to go? Do you want to go to the fucking penthouse, the grand lobby? No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with y'all. <laughs> Could you imagine? I could actually see this turning into like a clue a clue board game. That would be cool. That would be sick. I played that game. Was it Sparkle in the kitchen with the frying pan? Honestly, she's cooking up some trouble. She's cooking up some trouble. Love her, but she's cooking up some trouble. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. Right. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. Yeah. But before we start... What are we going to say to the family and Aventurine? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Mm -hmm. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. See, the thing is, I don't like them, Himiko. Like, you're smart. You're being smart about it. And it would make things easier for us in the future. But from what I've seen of the family, which is just Sunday, I don't like him. He's fucking... I don't know. There's something up with him. As for that Aventurine... Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, 
It's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. I agree. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. Agreed. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. Right. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. Oh, She's Marge. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Marge is protective. Marge is like, how dare they? It's cool. You can bully me whenever. Oh, you. <laughs> this is a cute picture. I see why. I really see why they ship Stella and Marge. They're really cute. No, I can't accept it. She's so protective. She's like, no, they can't bully you. Forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. I think he's okay with that, honestly. He seems really okay with the fact, like, I use you, you use me. Then. Could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. I love Himiko. I'm glad that she's in the story. <laughs> Why have his number? Always open to pull for your game account. Bro's a streamer and he'll do viewer pulls. We'll collaborate. Wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll be from, from now on, we'll all be in this together. Here is a small something for our upcoming partnership. Money. Should I say that's it? That's a lot of money. Thanks, boss. Or that's it. Nah, I'm gonna say thanks, boss. We wow we. That's so generous of you, boss. Thanks. Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra for good luck with the new gig. Damn, bro is paying me. I think it's the first time I've actually been paid by somebody in this game. You love Himiko as well, but she talks really slow. I, I, I honestly like that. She has a really nice voice, so I really don't mind listening to her. I said, that's it? And he said more? Just as I anticipated, the family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug. So this is a case... So her secret, her, her case is only a secret between us, but other that other case depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave now. And look forward to the outstanding performance from you guys. Man. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. The Let's fuck, tell everyone about fuck it. What the fuck is that? Fucky smile radiates forever radiant. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna leave Himiko for last. Aventurine said something that concerns me. I don't know how you can sweep someone as important and well-known as Robin on the rug. Yeah! Wow, we boss! Aventurine, our glucose father. <laughs> he accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. Yeah. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Well, it looks groundless to us. But he definitely has other plans. He's... I don't think he's bluffing. I think he genuinely, like, thinks that. But why, Maybe though? Maybe Adventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? I love her. She's very gentle. She's very mysterious. I can't seem to remember. She She's all of these. Gentle. Wait, I can't explain? 
weird. I can't seem to remember. The stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Hello! Hello, Raiders! Hello, Jazzy! How are you doing? Did you add an extra Z to your name? I don't think I remember. I didn't notice that. He took away the underscores and you added the extra Z. I see, I see. You're playing Content Warning? I, I saw that game was free for, for, for like today. For another like couple hours, probably. How was it? How was the game? I want to say hello, Raiders. My name is Ray. I'm your Red Fox VTuber. I do a lot of variety content and um, I am doing a Honkai Star Wars story right now. So if you don't want spoilers, if you already haven't done it, I would suggest uh, muting the stream, maybe lurking if you want to. But um, yeah, I'm doing the story and I don't want anyone who hasn't done it to be spoiled. So that's a warning. But how is stream, Jazzy? I think I... Oh. I haven't done it. Shut up, Sadie! Oh, I got raided into... Maddie. Oops. Oops, okay. She was good, your throat's killing you. Oh no. Get some tea or something. <laughs> You know what I learned today, Jazzy? Tea makes you pee. Like, it has, like, a thing. That, like... It has, like, a thing that makes you pee more. I never knew that. How I made it into your Twitter circle? I have no clue. I'm just that good, I guess. I'm that powerful. But Jazz... Jazz, you've done the story, right? I'm just gonna wait a little bit for people to like. Um. Ooh, what? You played all of it. Okay. I just wanna make sure I'm not spoiling you or anything. Am I a sleeper agent for interacting with you on Twitter? I guess so. Yeah, I just started though. I, I just started, so I'm like talking to everyone right now about accepting Adventurine's proposal. I literally just started. Is it weird of someone to come ask you to drop that dun da, da Probably, if you don't know them. It's a little weird. I think it is a little a little weird. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But uh, but drop I that dun like da, da Hey, Ms. don't Robin drop that dun da, da. But <laughs> she's still alive and well. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Yeah, March is not coping with this well. Because... Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone... Die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? I don't know, Mark. Good is subjective. Your sister asked you if you could? Well, it's your sister. That's fine. Whenever I see the Grand Theater... I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. We'll restore all the dreams back to normal. Don't worry, March. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Yo, when did March have huge tits? Is it not? Okay, I'm sorry. But not a- is, is it not just me? I could have sworn her titties are smaller than that. Always? I could have sworn she had smaller tits than that. And also, Stella's pretty, like... She doesn't have huge titties. But I feel like I knew that. But I thought March was the same way, but apparently not. I don't know, I don't look at them. Well, we're looking at them now. Everyone's still having a great Shadow buff into <laughs> No 
nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Eh, be like that. It's okay, March. We'll be fine. The real buff in 2.1. March gets bigger boobs. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Oh, she's so cute. Ah, <sighs> but then I'd... Be just like everyone else out on oh, the right. The soda has like weed in it or some shit. <sighs> Fucking soul glad. Come on, there's no way. I feel like that soda has something in it. Coke used to have actual cocaine in it. All right, it's probably the same with this shit. Probably has some substance. He may go. 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 I'm so glad she's in the story right now. But I'm really scared. Because she's out and about, which means she could actually die. Soul Glad has actual souls in it? Maybe. That would make sense. You know. <laughs> you know if we can take the happiness or like the happy gears or whatever from people? I'm for I'm I'm like I'm like 90% sure that the like the, the soda can like turn on like the happy gear like in your brain and then like keep it on and that's why you get happy. My coke has actual my drink is actual coke. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm going to talk to Himiko as Kafka. Her her like, you know, her wife. Avengerine's goal is to try Didn't and work. recapture Fuck. Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Death covered up by the family. How does he plan on taking them down? Something that must be important. Everyone will notice, but also can't be anything too out in the open. The hotel. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Penacony's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Why well, bother asking if you won't remember? I will! Oh, did y'all see Maddie's video, by the way? I edited that one, too. There's actually a part I'm really proud of. So let me show you. This part. This video. She's so happy. Oh, the fucking tactile thing. This shit. Incredible edit again. Thank you. Curse of Mint Picker. Curse of Mint Picker. Curse of Mint Picker. <laughs> Bro, that shit made me laugh. Fucking take down! <laughs> like he cursed her at first, and then he was like, you know what? Let me not. Let me bless her. Blessing. You'll get there one day, one day. Oh man. I can't help but feel partially. <laughs> I fucking hate it, Pick a number between one and a hundred. Pick a number. 
Okay. Hey, Peggy! Take her for the 20 gifted! <laughs> he could be confused cursings and blessings again. Oh, Tag Toad. Oh, Tag Toad. Tried his best. Tried his best to save her. Didn't work out. It'd be like that. Nuclear drama. <laughs> Yeah, but you should watch that video if you haven't. Uh, let me get the link here. I can get the link for y'all. Real quick. Or Sa Sadie's got the link. Right on. Too slow. Alright, well, technically you're my mod, so you're like supposed to help me out. So actually you just did your job. I wasn't too slow. Okay? Actually, you did your job. Good job. <laughs> it's my first day. Now nah, you've always been a mod. You just didn't have the power to enforce your authority. He's going for the family. Going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. He is a gambler. Acheron? Venturine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. I can't rush to any conclusions. Bro, I'm so mesmerized by the mole on her tit. And like, her voice is so soothing. I would... Himiko ASMR would hit different. Like, it, come on. Y'all can't not agree with me on that. Himiko ASMR would hit different. Is he going for the Astro I was Express? Also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. You old tab and that's what you hear? Well, you're welcome. So, we're not sure yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling a Venturine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment. The family's now. assignment. Himiko, what do you think? Himiko. Himiko. Controversial opinion. I think Himiko is hotter than Kafka. I could see that. I think it just depends on, like, your case. Like... Kafka... I just fuck Kafka, right? Kafka is like more like dommy mommy. Like. Like. Kind of like I'll ruin your life and I really won't care. But also, if she does care about you, she really cares about you and she'll do what she can to protect you. Dommy mommy, but like. Himiko. Himiko is like that, but she's more like motherly, if that makes sense. She's more like motherly. Like, I'll take care of you, like, sweetie. Like, I'll make you tea when you're sick, and I'll give you honey. And I'll, like, make you, like, dinner. And, like, I'll, put, like, make sure that you feel loved, kind of like mom. She's mom. She's not like mommy. She's just mom. She's mom. Yeah, she would pack you lunch because she cares about you. But she's still pretty sassy, is the thing. Which is also why I really like her. Himiko would step on you if you asked, but she'd also be Little Spoon. Yeah, she's definitely a switch. I would say Himiko's probably a switch. I feel like Kafka's just the top. All I think she's like a... Hmm. I feel like Kafka would be a top, but I think... I think she'd probably also be a switch, which just leans towards top. 
Kimiko goes perfect in general. You know, until she like perishes. <laughs> I swear to God, if they kill her in this one, I'm gonna lose my shit. Every single one, like I'm telling you, in every like anime I've seen, in every fucking game I've played, I played Danganronpa. I've I've seen a bunch of like animes and just like every single person I like at some point just dies. And I I swear to god if it's just if it like I'm telling you like I'm on the streak of just like anyone I love dies <laughs> in in video games. So just I swear I hope it's not true this time. Like, I really hope. Also, Obi-Wan, thank you for following. That's quite the interesting name you have there. I'm, I'm gonna be so sad if she... If she... If she goes bye-bye. Alright, Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Yeah, Perhaps we should verify we her situation. About her while out there. Is she even there? Ray, be like, why is everything I love die? What the fuck? Yeah, and Danganronpa, I would like like a person and then they would immediately like perish the next the, the, the next fucking trial. It was actually insane. It was literally insane how often it happened. And that was when I was like, I just, I, at some point, I just accepted the fact that they would just die. Like, I don't know. Have y'all ever seen like, uh, reincarnated as a slime? If you have it. And you're listening, and you don't want spoilers, I want you to mute the stream. In three, two, one. Alright, I'm gonna be talking about spoilers now in Reincarnation of the Slime. I am at season two. We're we're in season two. Or I think I yeah, I think I think it's we're in season two right now. Maddie was gonna was rewatching it with me because I've always wanted to watch it, and Shinon is my favorite. Shinon is my favorite, and I swear to God, when she died, I just sat there like, "Yup, this is my life. This is everyone I love just fucking perishes." Like Maddie, like looked like Maddie, like I've told Maddie that before, and she watched my reaction watching Shinon die and she was like she was like oh like you don't have a reaction like I thought you were gonna like be sad like did you know this was gonna happen and I just looked at her and I was like nah I didn't know this was gonna happen but like I already accepted the fact that everyone I love just like dies in anime so I just I just can't care anymore and she was like oh I'm sorry <laughs> she was like I'm sorry and she was like, did you know that, like, Shino was gonna come back to life? And I was like, no. I just accept the fact that they die. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Classic. I think it's classic, right? That's, yup, that was me. Oh! Summer, thank you for the raid! Hello, hello, hello! How was the new game? I'm pretty sure... I think I saw you playing it, correct? Did you switch to Valorant? I could have sworn you were on the other game. Or was that... Jazzy. I don't know. How was Valorant? Also, hello, uh, hello... Hello, Summer? Yes. Hello, Summer, and hello, Raiders! My name is Ray. I'm a Red Fox VTuber. I do a lot of variety games. Right now, I'm playing Honkai Star Rail. And... You weren't? I could have sworn you were. Oh, no! You know what it was, Summer? Someone, a zombie showed me the game that was free and said that maybe you'd you'd like playing, like you'd you'd like it and that, and that I would like it. I think that's why I thought. <laughs> also, Mystic, thank you for following. 
If you ever wanted to play it, I'm down, actually. You know, now that I mention it, twirling my hair. <laughs> I have no clue what it's about, but I think it's I think it's a horror game, right? I miss you too. Definitely. Me either. Yeah, I have no clue. I just know that it's free. If it's free, it's for me. But yeah, right now I'm doing um you play Honkai Star all summer? I actually don't know. Right now I'm doing the story in Honkai Star Rail, so if anyone doesn't want to be spoiled on uh, the Honkai the Honkai Star Rail story as of recently, um, I wouldn't tune into the stream. I don't want to like spoil people who don't want to be spoiled. Twirling, looking to the side, kicking my feet up, giggling and shit. <laughs> Me every time I see Maddie. <laughs> you don't? You can't get addicted? Nah, that's fair. Gacha games? Gacha games are built. To destroy your wallet. They're literally built to do that. I don't blame you. How far am I? I just beat world 2. I am pretty far. I am at world... I'm, I've done all of Simulated Universe. And I've... I'm in um... I'm in Golden Gears. Yeah, I'm like pretty far into the story, Mystic. So if you don't... It seems like you play. So if you don't... If you're not... I don't, uh, if you're not far into the story, I would suggest not watching. Um, as much as I would love for you to watch, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil you on shit. <laughs> that would, that would be rough. I don't like being spoiled on things, so I don't want to do that to other people as well. You can't wait for Weathering Waves. Me too, Cookie. Me too. That game looks so fun. It looks like Genshin, but like if Genshin actually was like fun. <laughs> I tried Genshin. I really did. I, I gave that game like a good like hours of my life or like even days but i i couldn't i couldn't play that game thank you for the follow i'm imp imp thank you for the follow hey genshin's fun no i'm not saying genshin's not fun it was fun but i think it got old really fast they didn't really update it much um the story i feel like didn't grasp me i i, I zoned off in, in in the story i didn't even do the story at some point i stopped at like I stopped when I reached, like, Mondstadt. Which is, like, the first city, I'm pretty sure. Shouldn't have tried Genshin when it first came out. The long wait ruined it. Yeah. It was really slow, content-wise. Cookie, thank you for the follow. New roads, different maps, plus you get to do all the murder. <laughs> what is Weathering Waves? Chills was talking about it. Let me show you. I got you. One second. Weathering Waves. So Weathering Waves is a Genshin... It's, uh, it's made by MiHoYo. It's made by the same people who made Star Rail and who made uh, Genshin, I think, right? If I remember correctly. Or maybe it's not. I could have sworn it was. Chat. Chat, please confirm. <laughs> Curl Games? They were made by MiHoYo? I thought it was! Oh, the whole trailer? This Curl Games. Yeah, but I think it's me. Are they not? Oh, I guess it's not. It is Weathering Waves made by. It's the same devs who made PGR. Oh, so I guess it's not. I lied. I guess I'm a liar in that respect. It's still a good game. It's like a hard... It's like a... It's a story... It's a story game. Um... An, op an open world story game. They made Punishing Raven. I never played Punishing Raven. I want to open some videos on this. Wait, there was a trailer? I should send this to Maddie. Wait. Weathering... Waves trailer. Oop, oop. Gonna pre register? Yo. Wait. Y'all know we gotta. This is Maddie. Intuition Did you see the Intuition. trailers for Weathering Waves? 
obvious typical woman for making decisions with my emotions and intuition rather than calculating, but... <laughs> hey, probably just got shit intuition. Woo-wa! You don't trust your own. Did I see the trailers for Wuthering Wave? Is there a new one? I'll send her these too. Chad, is there another Wuthering Ways trailer? Those. I don't know if they are new, but I just found out. One of this. I did. Oh, maybe we'll be making a video. What the fuck? That. A few. F. Yeah, F the mods. <laughs> mods, ban the mods. <laughs> Okay, I disappear now. Is there like a disappear emote? There is. Dude, I just want the last reward, please. Just, no, don't disappear among a sea of butterflies. No, I've been. No. <laughs> They're all talking shit about me now. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Weathering Waves is an open world story game, basically like Genshin, but I'm told that they kind of just do it better. Um, they just do it better. There's really pretty girls, as you can tell here. As you can tell here. Um, I really want- I actually want to react to this. But I won't do it. It has the Hemico clone mommy, I'm <laughs> But she, she's like, he, she has like, Kafka's like, wire things, you know? It's not a high tier bar at the moment. No, okay, that is fair. That's fair, Mike. But it's like, it is like, better, it, it like, does the bare minimum, and then it does more than the bare minimum. You know what I mean? So I will watch these later. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna react video on it, I think. Um... I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm not gonna do that- I'm not gonna do that now. I really- I really do still wanna do the story. But, if you are interested in my reaction to those things, I have a YouTube channel that you could follow. Um... Depends when it comes out. I mean, up to you. All my socials are there on the card co. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, then I think in my About Me section, where it shows you all the links, my YouTube's in one of those, too. Up to you, though. Up to you! And if you want notification for things, my Discord... I, I, I have, like, pings and stuff that you can take. Or give yourself, that will give you notifications. Okay, look. I used to never do self promo, and then I got yelled at. I, I I like actually got yelled at by Maddie, and I I got yelled at by Maddie and a couple of of other people. Like you don't like self promote enough. Like you don't you you don't like tell people like you have these things available. Like why don't you just like tell people because like you're a good streamer and you should like promote yourself and i'm like i don't have the self-confidence for that that's why i don't do it and then they're like and then and then and then, and now i'm trying to and now i'm getting yelled at for promoting in my own channel god knows how i could win to be fair you didn't do it i did it because i just i'm too self-conscious all right i didn't know you had a discord until like two months after i know 
I know, that's why I'm trying to. Kane edits, I want to see. True! Kane does really good editing. Which, by the way, Kane, I didn't forget about the edit thing. I've just been busy. This face, you want to stay even for spoils. Don't spoil yourself! Don't do it! You should play the game. Like, like, I... Oh, man. I mean, I guess it depends on if you care or not. But if you do care, don't spoil yourself. Like, play the game and get into the community. You're on the verge of passing out. Maybe you should sleep. <laughs> maybe you should just sleep. Maybe that's the maybe that's the play. <laughs> Sleeping time. You self promote, you lose. You don't self promote, you lose. Just take the option that you lose, but it's more beneficial. Yeah, yeah. It's just like. Embarrassing. <laughs> Chat, if you ever want to see one of my edits on the live stream, gotta give five subs. Did you notice my self-care redeem? How long ago was that? Um, oh sh Yo, I clicked the button? Whoop. I didn't see that. No, it's a no. Thank you for the lurk, Mystic. Have a good sleep. I didn't see it. No. Okay. My self care. Do you know? Okay. Hmm. I. What? What have I done? Oh lord. I. Have taken steps to better the quality of my life, and I'm proud of myself for that. So I've been having a really rough couple weeks, month, month and ish so. Not you getting it out as soon as the self-care starts. I'm sorry. You know, if you don't want ads, you could just subscribe. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing that up. My bad. My fault. My bad. I tried, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. You poor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to rub it in your face. My bad. <laughs> I, I recently I've been struggling like a lot, uh, mentally, um, and it's been affecting kind of like everything I do, like literally everything. Like, if you've noticed, I've been streaming less. Um, if you notice, I just haven't talked to people. At all. Kane, thank you for the tier 1 to Genesis. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I I haven't been talking to people much. I try my best to reach out, but honestly, I've never been good at reaching out first. And it's just it's just gotten even worse with like the lower like morale I have going on. Um But I've been trying my best to keep up with people. Um I've been trying my best to talk to people. Um kind of find out what my passions are uh i th i'm not sure quite yet I'm, I'm i'm doing editing um i like editing but it is a very i, I kind of just sit there and like edit for hours and hyper focus and then i forget to talk to people and like i don't know it's a whole thing either way i'm just i'm just i'm proud of myself for trying to figure out what makes me happy um and figuring that whole like area and it's still a struggle but i'm trying to keep positive i'm trying my best to keep positive at least <laughs> thank you guys you want to refund genesis genesis is like i know i want the ads like any moment i can get that's like a few seconds away from this woman i'll take <laughs> even the even the smallest amount of seconds i'll take it just get me out All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. So Himigo wants to see what happened to Firefly and Robin in real life. How about we split off into two groups? I want there Himiko in my group. Some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those, and we can link up again later. Himiko's in my group. Worth focusing on. Oh, no problem. Well, I should leave it to you then. Why is she speaking like that? 
Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Does Kane not want it? Because I will refund it if Kane doesn't want it. Kane, if you want it, do you want the good boy thing or do you want like a genuine praise? I'll let you choose one or the other because I feel like, yeah, I was going to say the good boy one is probably a little awkward. <laughs> but you know, if you want it, I'll give it to you. I mean, it was redeemed. To be praised for the edits, well, I mean, you gave it to Kane. So Kane gets to decide what Kane wants. Using your points. Why does she speak like that, though? Worth focusing on. Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you, then. get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. Alright, so Genesis wanted me to give Kane a praise for your edits. I will do that. But I'll kind of mix it into a genuine praise here. So Kane, we've known each other for a little bit now. Um, honestly, I, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know how long it's been, but it feels like it's been a while. <laughs> um, I appreciate you stopping by, um, and just like, even when like, I, I, even when you weren't a mod, it was always nice to see you around, and your edits were always really, really good. Like your editing was is really fire, and I really appreciate the fact that you took the time to help me learn how to edit. Um, I know it's not easy to teach somebody else how to do things like that. Um, and you said yourself that you didn't really know how to teach me. So you just kind of like showed me what you could. Um, but I really do appreciate that you took the time to do that. Um, even if like, I mean, you didn't know if I would keep at it or not, you know? Like it was more like a fling kind of thing. So the fact that you still took a chance just like you to ready? teach me is really nice. Oh, one second. Sorry. Yeah? Look at my screen real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh... Is that... allowed on Twitch? <laughs> um... You know... She has a really nice butt. Respectfully. She has a really big... Personality. Yeah, so do you. Yeah! Yeah. I don't, it's funny, I'll see like a nice butt and I'll just think, yeah, but Maddie's butt is better. <laughs> yeah! Chat, I have a good butt! Maddie's butt is even better. Even Ray says it. Maddie has a good butt. <laughs> what do you mean even Ray says it? I'm right. I am just like I'm just like I have proof because sometimes I'll, I'll be like chat I have a big ass and then chat will be like yeah sure. We're gonna play it in a little bit, chat. <laughs> Maybe that isn't the thing to be showing on stream. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And just like. Thank you so much. I I haven't gotten that far honestly. Just like. Thanks. Just like. <laughs> okay, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> Twitch chat, Twitch chat, Twitch chat. Make sure to prime. Make sure to prime and Twitch sub to her. Do it. Do it now. Now. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Sorry, Kane. Go back. To what we were talking about. I appreciate you taking the time to teach me how to edit. I appreciate just you being around. You're you're very nice to like hang out with and play games with. And I really do hope that you stick around uh, for a very long time. And if you're ever struggling, I'm here. I may not be able to help much, but I can at least listen. 
And I won't tell other people your shit, because I don't believe in that. It's kind of mean. So I feel like I've always been, like, the therapy friend. So if somebody ever told me, like, anything, I'd be like, I'm not gonna, like, tell anybody your shit. Like, that's rude. And if I think that you need more help, I, then I, I would obviously be like, well, you know, it sounds like you're going through a lot. Maybe you should, like, look at other options, because I'm not sure how much, like, just venting can help the situation. I'll be honest. But I won't be, like, harsh. Alright. Let's go back. To the story. So is Welt just leaving? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. He better not die. I feel like if anyone were to die in this game, I'd want it to be hmm. Dong Hong. <laughs> Cause I don't really care about him. I mean I do, but like I don't know. You don't know what to say, don't worry, you don't have to say anything. What's too OP to die? The thing is, he's like weakened. So if anyone doesn't really know this, Welt isn't from this universe. He's from a different one. He's from Honkai Impact. Uh, third. And he like somehow ended up here. But he doesn't actually belong to this world. Um. So a lot of his powers are more like, he's still really strong, but he's also older. And there was a bunch of other things in Honkai Impact 3rd that happened that kind of like resulted in him not being as strong as he used to be. But he's still really strong. Honored guest, could you come out for a second? Wait. Honored guest? Who? Oh! I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared out like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. Well, I'm well, one of the crew well, members well, on the Astral well. Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Oh, he knows. He probably recognizes Acheron as Mei Mei. He was so boring that Nahu needed a second character to make people like him. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Honestly. And even then... I'm not gonna lie, even then, he really isn't that exciting, still. That's just my opinion, but like, I don't, I don't really, like, even, the, even if he got it in Bibberbune, like, I, I, he's still kind of like a meh character to me. Who is Dog Hung again? Exactly. That, ex <laughs> that's the whole point. Exactly. Who? Like, well, I, I love well. I, I I love well. Um, Dong Hung. This is Dong Hung. So he has this form, which is his like regular ish form. And then he has Oh wait, you can't see it. He has this form. And then he has his like dragon form. Sorry. Yeah, no, I I'm I'm showing it now. Uh and he has his dragon form. That's Dong Hung. Like, even then, honestly, he is kind of boring as a character. God, it's been how long and I haven't gotten through, like, any of the story. Oh god, I really am like Maddie. I just yap. I just yap. I can't wait to see the- is that- it's not- you said it's not even finished yet, too. Like, that looks finished to me, but... Apparently... It's not even finished yet. Bro got the power up and strength. So boring. <laughs> Dong Hong, yeah. He's he's okay, I guess. Alright, let's continue. So, Welt finally meets Akron. You don't know if you're gonna finish it? It'd be like that. Some projects just... Some projects kind of like end up in the wind. Well. Mm -hmm. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. 
You're a prominent figure in Pentecost. Yo, what's so smart? What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. She doesn't remember. It's okay, Kane. T taking a break isn't bad either. I get it. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Did they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? She knows his power! Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Damn, well... I thought y'all were going to be friends. They're fighting each other. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Well, making you feel some type of way. He's dad. He's not daddy. He's just dad, okay? He's just a father. His voice is pretty nice too, though, I will say. So Acheron doesn't want to be enemy of us. She just kind of wants to, like, chill. Galaxy Ranger. Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Penacony is solely to fulfill an old final request. Old final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far... And I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Fair. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. Ah, uh, she knows about the Stellaron in us. Is she okay? That memo oh, she's through. worried about us! Acheron! Was pretty tall. Was pretty tall, dude. She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Penacony dreamscapes. Just well, it's really to try tall. And find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Penacony may be closely related to the Trailblaze. The secret of Penacony may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's kind of like what I was thinking too. Because like Pom Pom kept talking about people who were like used to be a Trailblaze or a Nameless. Um. And I don't know. It just felt like maybe something was going to happen in terms of that. I didn't know when, but apparently, like, maybe this story. Uh, would you think I would be taller than Clara? Um, why don't you ask Maddie and see what she says? <laughs> I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you ask Maddie. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the uh, Genesis, no. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. 
Mr. Yang. Bane. I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? So Acheron thinks Welt came to the same conclusion. Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Yeah. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Fair. Mm-hmm. Oh. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Interesting. I said my height once before, you know, Clara is five foot two. I'm not answering. Ask Maddie. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first <laughs> invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Flex one. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple of cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said people alert to the soul glad bitter beverage do you think Kimiko would like that beverage really but i don't taste any difference at all between them she doesn't taste the difference interesting the guest rooms are charmingly minimalist an aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. She just called her basic. Oh. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. Did she steal their invitation? Wait. You see, memories of you music are box. not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. So she stole his invitation, or did she get invited? The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Oh, she's gonna show us? Thanks, Black Swan. Radiation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by the annihilation. Huh? There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed Away from the storms. Good night, Goose. And also Sadney. You're getting Evie? Oh no. Children of the flame. This marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone have enough. Well, it's Katarina or Catalina, whatever her name is. Or maybe you're not. Her, maybe her name is not that. Maybe I'm just like projecting because she has red hair. I totally forgot what her name is. One of those on the path of the The Everflame yeah. Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people. They have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. No, I'm right, Pog. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. All out. Just this one last time. <laughs> Never mind. What happened?
the memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Penacony. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way... She can't hear it? Do you think it's blanked out, but there's actually words behind there? What do you think, chat? Have people tried? Like, lightening it up a little bit to see if there's actually words behind this? It's Ray's memory? Oh, it's my memory? It's like it's been erased. Oh, my memory has been erased? Who's done this? Oh! You fucker! I thought you meant it was the Trailblazer's memory that's been erased. You meant my- uh... Fuck, I'm slow. Damn! That's crazy. You know there are things... That can like... How to... It's in a race, I don't know why, but it's spoilers. Okay, then I won't... I won't ask. I was just, like, wondering if, like, there was actually words here, but they put white over it. You know what I mean? Like, how, like, you would write, like, on a paper, like, let's say, like, your name, and then you scribble it out. Oh, so I was wondering if there was actually, like, words behind it. But I guess not. Oh. Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh. A memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Is this? For the cremators? Is this Duke and... Duke's, like... One of them? Is it the... What's her fucking name? The one who's like all about depression. My name is Constance. Yeah, Constance! It's a pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Black Swan does not like her. Black Swan's like, Acheron, where are you? But I need assistance. On the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age. Mother, you like, I guess you really like her, huh? You. I know what you're looking for. Uh -huh. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. Sure. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh. A phone. Wanna listen in? Adventuring. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Meanwhile. sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Oh, it's a lot of words. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. Oh, uh, words! This is why I can never remember anything. For being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. 
meteors? This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. Dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Oh! This eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Hello, thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome, welcome. We're doing story right now. Yeah, who the fuck is this baby? Blonde hair. Is this adventuring? Land of rock. Land of rock. Lightning, but not rain. Small terrain. Beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. Wow, whoever this is is very dramatic. With the cracked So they have earth, but no water. But given lightning, but not rain. Blood, but no tears. You promised us a land of honey, yet you us beneath a sword of bitterness. Uh-huh. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child... Oh, his dad's dead! ...still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. And his mom's dying too, damn. Bro didn't even get a chance. Everyone dead. Sorry, I'm getting my tea. I haven't finished it. <clears throat> Bro, everyone died? That's crazy, my dude. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Bro doesn't even know he's alive right now. What do you mean, dream? Bro does not even know the quadratic formula. Otherwise, why would this child uh, I'm not drinking this tea anymore. It's all death. wonky now. I waited too long. I'll make more later. Oh, it's raining! Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? <gasps> raining! It's like, thank God I can die in peace. Mommy, we can leave here. We 
we can go back home. Yeah, I don't know if she can. It seems like she's gonna die, but you can. Back home. Good Athra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> With the sound of rain. Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> Avgen? What the fuck? My boy. Did Du change his name? <laughs> May the goddess Gyathra. Her okay, that's the abundance, cuts. right? Diathra? Isn't that the eon of abundance? I feel like I remember that being a thing. Die. No. Fuck. She's she's an eon. Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh yeah, I don't know. Guy. She not an eon? No, I'll probably figure it out later. Who cares? Keep your blood. I am trying to look it up, yes. Cause I thought it was the abundance eon, but apparently not. Let your journey be forever. Peaceful. Nah, he has a lot of hardship in his fucking life. And your schemes forever okay. concealed. Okay. His schemes forever concealed? Probably not gonna happen either. Welcome to this sad world. Kakavasha. Did he change his name? Because that's not his name right now. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> uh, I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guess. Dr. Ratio. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand in, I guess. They must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> He tested it himself? If there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was... Another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was... a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. No, he knows that we know <laughs> about this other person. A psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh huh. I think. 
No, he's talking about himself. Because if you see, he said, tested a few times myself until I discovered I couldn't actually die. Which means he tested it on himself. He didn't do it to other people. He just said, whenever there was any danger, I was forced to awaken by the dream pool. So he did it on himself. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. Sparkle's a good <sighs> actor, I guess. Getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? I'll auto this. Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Fair. Incredible gamble. Incredible. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon. <laughs> Doctor Rachel's making fun there of him. There are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember, that masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it. You and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. Is that why her voice is so good? It's because it's not actually her voice, but a, the harmony was making her voice? So she wasn't actually singing? She's mute. Oh, what the fuck? If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. Didn't work out. But she died. Right before my very eyes. Wait, he saw her die? A complete and utter loss. Incidentally... It seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. No, she can sing... ...thing of it like a magical auto-tune. But like, it said that she was mute. Which means... She, and she has lost her voice. So do you mean she lost her singing voice? Or did she just lose her voice completely? I don't know. Do dead people sing? Fair point. I just assume that bef even before she died... ...that, um... ...maybe she was mute. I don't know. There were eyewitnesses at the scene. I didn't- I didn't- I, didn't, I honestly don't think she's actually dead. ...has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. The hounds, the rough roughs. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability... Yes, it as in she's dead. Verges on the He's probably alive. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply they really off-screen Robin too. That's crazy. To hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. That man? Who? Oh. Sunday. Oh. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. Dr. Ratio's <sighs> fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Uh-huh. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. I also prefer Saturday. 
Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet Ooh, chest. great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes Why is of the ratio here guests again? would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. <laughs> hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's fascinating, Doc, but look at the free loot. Uh, loot. The Who's loot goblin in me. Sell you out? True. <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, why is Doctor Ratio here? Out of him. Follow me, and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue, and let me deal with the members of the family. Story unfolds. You have a chance to progress the story of the other characters' POV. Mm hmm. Check the Atlas interface to see the change. You can click the fate assemble. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, that's cool. Oh. Give me that shit. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I can't leave. What am I just all? Oh. He just drops the fuck. Yeah, he really does. He just fu he drops a fucking D twenty on your head. Like, oh, if I hit the net twenty, I fucking inst that would be a cool fucking concept. Like, if it was like Acheron's, like. Insta kill, but with adventuring, it was if you hit the nat 20, you like instantly kill something. But, like, to make it like maybe like fair, like it, it uses a point and you can like instantly kill a boss if you hit it. Could you imagine? Could you fucking imagine? Like, that would be a true gambler skill, like technique. QQ part two. It would that would be genuinely like a gambler skill. Like if he could just press E, but, like and it's like it's auto attack, but his E just like snap, and it rolls like one to twenty. And if it hits the twenty, uh, you like insta kill the boss. If it's like nineteen, you do a lot of damage to the boss, but it doesn't kill them. And if you do like a one, then you're kind of like fucked. You like you get disadvantage. <laughs> that would be cool, honestly. What was I gonna check? Oh yeah. There was something. Um I remember this little lady saying. She said something about So we've got this arrogant eon named Nanook. No, that's not rules. it. Societal. I did joke. The world's just like a an abandoned orphan. A curse. I'm not one with many this one dreams, and having a dream isn't really my thing but my latest goal is getting into the genius society yes I want to impersonate a genius <laughs> I'm itching to try think anyone will fall for it you think she's impersonating dr. ratio If you get a one, the boss gets action forward. Exactly. I mean, she wants to. She wants to impersonate somebody in the Genius Society. I mean, Death Ratio is in the Genius Society. Hey, you two! That's a place of business. No intrigue. 
No, we have entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He's not in the Genius Society? I should have mentioned it to you. What the fuck is he in then? Who's in the Genius Society then? Intelli- Oh! So then, what are her options that we know of? Herda? Ruan May? Chadwick? And Srulam. I don't see any of those people... I don't see her having access to any of them. There is Chadwick! Dr. Ratio attacks in mathematics. My fucking word. So, Chadwick is this NPC that you could do a mission for in Penacone. And basically... No, 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 no. Basic... No, this is a serious. He, he is a member of the Dream Society. Was he dead? Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knight. Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. The glory yeah, of the enough. mobile knights. Keep going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Pug, please, the pug. <sighs> I will watch it, it another time. Like I really want to finish the story. Or at least get somewhere. No better than it is out there. Idiosity index. That's crazy. Bro called him stupid. I wanted the chest. Dead end. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these nightingale statues. The direction oh. of the statues it's a puzzle. can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Are you EP, Sadney? I'm kind of getting EP too. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. What I can do... Um... I can end for now. And then Wednesday we can play more story. You failed. I'm sorry, Moose. I'll watch it another time. I am getting pretty tired, though.